It's January the 19th, 2021, and I bring this regular council meeting to order. Result of the agenda for January 19, 2021, a regular council meeting, regular meeting of council be adopted as received, moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. I'm glad Councillor White, you're able to hear me tonight. Result of the minutes of the January 5th, 2021 regular council meeting and the January 12th, 2021 committee of the whole meeting be approved. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Council DeVore. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Moving down to Item 7, 7.1. The result of the Director of Public Works the report, report they received. Moved by Council Morio, second by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? Questions? Council Morio and Council White. Um, Mr. Cool, I see um, you guys have been using the uh, sodium accelerate at the airport there. Um, Went through our supply. How does that stuff? Is it actually working pretty well there, I mean, especially on the ice that we just had? Yeah, it worked very well. The main runway is clear, and uh, we we made, we uh, laid down the section all the way to the fuel tanks in front, and then we ran out. But uh, so the apron is still covered 100 in ice, but uh, that stuff does work very well, and we proved it can store for multiple years. So we absolutely recommend. Councilor White. Yeah, just uh, first a compliment for the way you handled uh, the issue relative to the trees and the triangle being uh, cut and uh, I'm sure all appropriately. But because of the uh, community, a uh, handful of community members being concerned, I think it's very appropriate that you plan to meet with them. And uh, I appreciate that so much. And when you pick a date, uh, I, I'd certainly like to be invited. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just want to commend uh, Mr. Poole and his team for uh, responding to the ice storm that we did have in the within a, a, a very short period of time. We had our crews out on the streets sanding and salting and doing what what was necessary to keep uh, traffic from sliding around. So thank you very much for taking care of that, Mr. Poole, along with your team, as well as the efforts to, to keep the airport open. So kudos to you and your team. Thank you. Councilor Friesen. I just want to uh, echo that as to the uh, walking path down the beach park. You guys have been out here since Sand Trail. So you can walk with us on the beach. Councilor Gray. Councilor, are you happy with all of the policies we have with respect to trees and doing something? So I'm actually good with the way they are. Uh, I, we, don't, we don't have a, actually a lot of like, harder policies on our trees, but I guess maybe we can. I if, you're happy, if you're happy, I'm happy. I just want to make sure you're happy because you can't leave. But you already made good decisions tonight. Yeah. No, we're, we're, I think what we do is, is very acceptable, and we've, we've been discussing with Councillor White and uh, a little more of, uh, I guess, ways to properly replace our old trees uh, for as little as possible. Boston, I think we are happy when our policies allow us to do that, so I think we should be very happy. For the discussion, Councillor White. How are you making out with the spruce box lumber and the possibility of uh, water with them? I finished the, the draft agreement today. I'm just going to send it to the committee uh, probably tomorrow and, and it'll go to Spruce Products. I think I'll send it to both the, the committee and Spruce Products at the same time unless, unless you guys would like something different. You want to review it first before I send it out to the other party. 
could do that. Like about an hour, but it is ready for the day for tomorrow morning. I can send it to the who all is on that committee? Am I on that committee? It's the committee of the wall. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, anything further? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 7.2. Uh, moving on to 7.3. Council CAO reports. We'll start with uh, Deborah Mayor Wintoni. Thank you, Your Worship. I have nothing to uh, report today. Okay. Uh, moving on to Councillor Gray. Um, well, we all have a meeting. We don't have anything to report on that. Councillor Gloria, I'm sure he's going to report on our negotiations. So I won't deal with that. Selling services is meeting sort of electronically rather than in person while we're in code red. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you. Councillor Friesen. Um, I believe that we can put on the uh, Mistletoe Magic as of the 29th of December. There was 1,345 cars went through the museum. And since then, there's been another 300 or 400. So it was very well received. Thank you. Again, thank you and all your committee and all the people that were involved in putting that together because that was a, a big highlight during this uh, clean up time. Nice time. Okay. Councilor White. Uh, Councilor Morgan and I had the opportunity to meet through Zoom with one of the senior nurses at the hospital January the 7th and with the concept of how do we recruit nurses specifically uh, to our community and as a consequence of that uh, we're going to have another follow-up meeting and, and, and if, uh, if there were a bottom line it would be left to local that was the nurse's idea also if I'm correct there sir and uh, the issue with, with monetary uh, incentive well at the moment there's a northern allowance to the people in the north to, to go back people from the Swan River are going there so that's creating a problem with us so we're going to follow up that with with that nurse and he's going to include some other nurses in that discussion and then i had a conference call with the uh, the local director of ucn today we talked at length about how we get the dpn nurses who are training right now there are 14 of them in swan river and incentives became a discussion also so she is going to set up a zoom meeting with hopefully yourself your worship myself and david because the memorial we will talk about hey we need you and i would like to ask them what would make you want to come back to swan river because there are things i'm sure that they would like that you're not privy to and it said this came out again and with this silliness uh well silliness at all when the COVID gets over hypothetically a, a trip to the pod where we can take the i think there's 18 of them out, up there right now and 12 from the swan river valley we can take them out for lunch and talk with them about how do we get them to come back to swan river so uh, it, we're certainly expanding our horizons relative to medical professional recruiting so uh two really positive meetings and as a consequence of all those meetings i'm I'm hoping that uh, I can get an invitation and cause memorial to one of the medical facilities foundations meetings to share with them the results of the two meetings that we've had uh, very recently with nurses. So I'm asking you to consider, depending on your agenda, to invite myself and or cause memorial to that. Uh, Sorry, to which meeting? To which meeting? One of your medical facilities foundation meetings. The health facilities foundation? Is yeah, that what you're me? sure. The health okay. facilities foundation. Okay. You guys have all the, the cash, and the recruiting is certainly one of your priorities, and you're working hard on it. But I, I think it'd be nice for your board members uh, to hear that uh, uh, Councilor Morial and I have heard directly from the people in the field. So if you put us on your list, and if there's room, we would like to go. And I'm uh, sure, uh, hopefully, we're all thinking with reverence uh, Martin Luther King Day yesterday, I believe, and uh, try to be very proactive in our perspectives on the deal with people, all people. Thank you. Okay. Councillor Morales. Uh, last Tuesday, we I attended the town meeting here with the rest of the council. And uh, on last Friday, the 15th, um, I attended uh, my provincial municipal justice advisory committee virtually. Um, our co-voting meeting that we had, and um, we discussed um, 
issues. And then we had our presentation and consultation with uh, Myers Norris Penny, um, the organization that's uh, been contracted by the provincial government to uh, do the policing funding review uh, for the province. Um, that discussion lasted probably almost uh, two hours, which was very in depth. Um, and they will have a draft report to the ministry by January 29th. So um, they're working very um, diligently and expeditiously in uh, getting that report done. We were one of the last uh, people to uh, be involved in the consultation and things like that, but they looked at um, predominantly all the funding models from Manitoba West, um, all the different jurisdictions, um, along with some other options and things like that, so that they can prevent or provide um, two uh, distinct recommendations to the minister in the first draft on the 29th of January. We're looking forward to hearing that. Uh, yes, and uh, the whole committee was uh, pretty much singing all the same tune, all the seven principles that we put forward on the policing act review, um, but uh, that something has to change. There wasn't much appetite to keep things status quo. Um, everybody does recognize that there potentially will be winners and losers. And not everybody's going to be happy, but uh, um, the biggest recommendation we put forward was that uh, everybody needs to be partners and treated equally um, in the province. And costs need to be shared. And that's all I have. Same tune that we sing. So, same tune from many different uh, municipalities and individuals. Good. Thank you. Councilor Delorier. Uh, on the 6th, we uh, met with the, the committee, met with Swan Valley West uh, to discuss uh, um, a new iteration of, of a water agreement to, since we gave them notice that we would be uh, withdrawing from our current agreement. Um, so it's, it's in the middle of negotiation, so I can't elaborate any more than I did at our town meeting in camera there. Um, on the 11th, I had a planning district meeting, and uh, the thing of note to come out of there, the, that the land over by the A&W there that uh, was purchased by Northwest Bay Council was redesignated uh, as per their uh, application. Um, so that, that puts the uh, rezoning back in our hands. Uh, and then uh, we had our Cal meeting on the 12th, which everyone was attended, to, so I elaborated on, and that was it for me. Okay. Um, for me, not much more than everybody else. I do want to appreciate uh, Council Morgan taking the time and sitting on that provincial board and bringing our voice forward. Uh, definitely, we're looking forward to hearing about that report, uh, what, what comes out of that report, and hopefully, it is what we say favorable and or not necessarily favorable but fair to all municipalities and everybody in the province i want to thank again um, public works uh, for getting out there last wednesday night during that ice it was a horrible uh, thing that happened there in the afternoon with all that rain and thank family getting out to our you know main public uh, sidewalks and dealing with them and sanding them down and knowing we created a, a huge mess and some businesses and all that but that's you know that's the sacrifice because definitely we don't want to see people uh, being injured there has been people that were injured but um, it's a scary uh, moment in time that we have to go through so thank you very much uh, i've also been working on a few other things too and i uh drafted a letter to the Minister of Health, or new Minister of Health, uh, on uh, the CT scanner and how we've been lobbying as a, as a valley, as all the municipalities and, and uh, citizens rallying together to get a CT scanner uh, placed in a hospital. So uh, that's, I sent that letter off to the Minister and also uh, to our uh, MLA and to the Premier as well, just to make sure that he's in on the loop as well. And, uh, and I've reached out again to uh, the other people, the executive people that are involved with Shared Health and with uh, Prairie Mountain Health on the same issue to keep everybody uh, updated or, or keep us from not 
forgetting what we're working on as a, as a whole for this community and for this valley and for all of us. So uh, it's really important that uh, we keep singing the same tune and keep pushing because we know how easily some of these things can fall off the desk. And uh, this is one thing I, I don't want to see fall off the party hard. So I know realize during COVID-19, it's been a difficult time for maybe the government to commit to this, but I think that we can't uh, take our foot off the pedal. And then also with the COVID-19 restrictions, everybody knows that are going to be somewhat lifted on uh, Saturday. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see, you know, uh, some retailers maybe get back to business and, and others. And there's still some, you know, larger restrictions, but for the most part, um, we can get out and get a haircut legally now, I guess you could say. So I'm looking forward to that and, uh, and, and get people to feel a little bit better, you know, getting out again and, and visiting their family and friends. But I think at the same time, we have to remember that we have to be vigilant and, and not, uh, go the other way. And I think the province of Manitoba has made that very clear that this is a test for about three weeks and hopefully we can stay within those uh, parameters as far as keeping the cases down and, and deaths down as well. So just keep up the good work. Anything from you, uh, Ms. Hickelman? Well, no point really on reporting our something out there, but um, yeah. okay. Yeah, we should have one thing I forgot to mention. Go ahead, Culture Gray. Uh, most recent announcement, we we'll wait for Friday, but the most recent announcement did not sound horrible for reopening uh, preparation facilities. Um, and that will have an impact on us, obviously, and, and will probably mean that we will be opening our facilities um, this year. Uh, we have the lowest, and the lowest vaccination rate in Canada, so I think it'll be quite a while before we get caught. units have been given to us. So we're not anywhere close. No. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely have, the, well, we have a resolution or a discussion on, on the arena, but definitely of our other facilities, we have to keep watching and you know, making decisions on what we're going to do as far as opening them or waiting for the province to open, but you know, as far as the arena comes, we'll wait for the, for the discussion later. So. Result of the acting CO report be received. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? So, Ms. Hickelman, I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll, I'll let you chime in if you want to on, on this at all, or is there anything that you want to highlight? Or? Um, just, you know, we're working on the budget, just because we're we'll going to be having our first meeting there on the night. Um, so, we're getting away from that. So, yes, we're Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.1. Result the town of Swanner review its membership in the Hudson Bay Growth Association for the year 2021 at a cost of $100. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Deputy Mayor Lutoni. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. 8.2. Resolve that notice be sent to the Swan Valley Municipal Airport Commission advising them of the town's decision to end provision of administration and executive services as of March 31st, 2021, to allow for the tender process to commence in order to ensure competitive pricing. Moved by Councillor Gray, seen by Deputy Mayor Tony. Discussion? Um, the March 31st uh, date, um, so between now when we issue the letter tomorrow and that date, is that sufficient time for the Commission to go through a tendering process to uh, do that work and uh, evaluate any submissions they get? I, I think it can be done. Uh, I would admit, mean, I guess it's pretty tight, but uh, if uh, CFO Ganita had anything to say, if he wanted to extend that, now would be his time, but I, I think it could be done. Mr. Ganita? Uh, 
I'd have to ask the commission if they feel that's enough time. I guess overall, the commission will make that decision, I guess, but Councilor Gray? Well, um, we can leave the letter as it is, and, and if they need an extra 30 days, I, I, is there anybody here who wouldn't extend the contract by 30 days if they have to wait? So um, either they'll be able to get it done or they won't. It's up to you. It's their baby. If they need an extra 30 days, they can ask. Right. Okay. Council so why, why don't we just give them the extra 30 days right, right now? Or we give an extra 30 years? <laughs> well, I, I mean, there's a difference between 30 days and 30 years. But I, I mean, I, I think March, knowing how fast things work, we're already next week. Like, I can live with whatever you want to put in bed. Yeah, yeah I, 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 was, I think put her to April 30th. Perfect. I'll you that. Okay, so then we need a It's a friendly amendment. It's moved by. Councilor Delorier, seconded by Councilor Gray. Do we have a vote on that? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. So then the date will be changed to April 30th. So we have to vote on the main motion. Yeah, we're all going to reread it again. Okay, so resolve that the notice be sent. Uh, for the discussion? Yeah, when we uh, read it again, then I'll let you discuss. <laughs> the result of the notice be sent to the Swan Valley Municipal Airport Commission advising them of the town's decision to end provision of the administration and executive services as of April 30th, 2021 to allow for the tender process to commence in order to ensure competitive pricing. Original mover was... Yeah, yeah Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Wintoni. Discussion, Councillor White. Uh, the, uh, the concern I have, I know, excuse me, I'm assuming, I don't like that word, um, I'm assuming it would be appropriate for our our CFO and our team to have some sort of a template for the other municipalities who will be asking, what does it cost to run this place? What? Where are the money spent? How are the money spent? Or is that up to them to ask for it? But because they're going to ask for it, maybe be wise to get it ahead of time. This is something. Why would we give them a template? The, the, the airport commission will give a tender. It will say these are the things you have to do. Then you'll work out your, your costs. And if they think they can do it cheaper, they'll provide a bill. It's not up to us to do their tender. It's up to them to do their tender. That's correct. Tender. That's correct. The, the commission sets the parameters. We need them. If they want to put in a bid, they have to meet them. That's exactly. I think that's where I was going to, but I, I think you said it more simply. That somewhere there should be some sort of a form that these people who are applying for the job say, you need to be able to do this if you want to do the job. That's, that's what it. the commission does by the tender. Okay. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.3. Resolve the draft request for proposal for the engagement of services for qualified and experienced professional strategic planning firms on in or individuals to submit proposals to facilitate a strategic planning process that identifies our priorities and needs for the next five to ten years be approved. And further be it resolved that administration distribute and advertise the proposal with a due date of February 26, 2021. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Delorier. Discussion? I'm not sure we need the five to ten years, but I'm not worried about it. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 8.4. Resolve that the Swan River Centennial Arena ice plant be turned off and ice removed if the Manitoba, sorry, Manitoba Junior Hockey League and Hockey Manitoba cancel their seasons due to COVID-19 restrictions. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.1. 
Resolve that account, accounts as follows be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 27104 to number 27159 as listed on Schedule A, totaling $349,624.37. Payroll accounts checks number 4795 to number 4800 as listed on Schedule B, totaling $109,443.96. Direct deposits as listed on Schedule C, totaling $21,207.09. As moved by Councilor Morio, second by Councilor Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion. Questions? Okay. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.2. Result of the preliminary financial statements for the 12 months ending December 31st, 2020, be adopted as received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion. Councilor Morio. Um, I realize these, uh, this report is, is preliminary, or preliminary um, but going through it, I just want to acknowledge administration and all municipalities that uh, through the difficulties and challenges of COVID-19 that's presented through us here um, that we are ending the looks like uh, the year on the surplus side even though it's just a, it just looks like a small surplus but uh, acknowledging all the challenges and the cutbacks and the, the weird and wonderful year that we had that just put our normal operations um, out the window is do different things and different ways. Um, just my appreciation for that for the challenging times to keep our folks in balance um, for what was presented for the year. For the discussion, all in favor? Councilor Gray, did you have? Well, I was just going to note that, um, you know, the balancing the, of the books came from two things. One was our relatively early action, which was really is pointing out in July, where, where we were losing revenues and, and we took action on that. Um, and the grant from the federal government, which is almost equal to the amount of our nominal surplus. So we've already taken the necessary steps, and that's where we're able to monies into various reserves. So I wanted to note that particular record. But so that was one of the overly package from the better government was responding to that. Thank you. Thank you for noting that. For the discussion, all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 11.1. Resolve the bylaw number 20, 2020, being a bylaw of the Town of Swan River to regulate the proceedings and conduct of the council and committees thereof be read a second time. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Number 12, notice of motion, Councilor Delorier. Yeah, I'd like to bring forward a motion at the next meeting to rescind resolution uh, uh, 2023 40. Uh, that's regarding the uh, rezoning at the land purchased by Northwest Community Council. Uh, that's the third reading on that uh, bylaw, and I'd like to rescind it and read the third reading at the next uh, meeting. So, uh, motion to rescind resolution SP 2020 3. Zero at the next meeting. Motion has or uh, most of the motion has been made. Thirteen resolve that pursuant to sections one fifty two and three of the municipal act, council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. We have some staffing discussion. Moved by Councilor White, second by Councilor Friesen. Discussion. All in favor? It's carried. Clear it can. 